welcome, I'm Dr. Afaraf, and in this video, I'll show you how to model fake convection in a pulse medium domain using COMS or multiphysics. In this example, the left boundary has a lower temperature, the right boundary has a higher temperature, and the top and bottom boundaries are insulated. Let's begin the modeling process in COMS or multiphysics. For the start the model, click on Model Wizard. Select 2D because we have two dimensional model. Select fluid flow, non thermal flow, and select lamina flow. Click on Add. Click on Study. In this example, we have a steady state simulation, so we select a stationary and click on Done. Change the unit to millimeters. And now, right click on Geometry, select a square, size length is 1 millimeters, and click on Build. Okay, now right click on materials, add material from library, select liquid and gases, select gases, and select air, add to component. Okay, now here the compressibility is incompressible flow and also we active in cloud gravity and enable post media domains. Now I'll right click on lamina follow and select voice media. Okay. Now select voice matrix one. The porosity for the our domain or the voice medium is 0 0.9. The permeability is 1e minus 12. Okay, now right click lamina follow. Select points, line pressure constraint, and we use this point for the pressure and constraint to reach the convergence. Now let's mount with transfer. Right click on heat transfer, a specific media, and select voice medium. Okay, we select voice medium in domain section. Click on follow it. Our follow it is air. And here we do not change any parameters. So let's mount to price matrix. The epsilon or the porosity is 0 0.9. The thermal conductivity of our price matrix is 100 watt per meters and Kelvin. The density is 3500 kilogram per cubic meters. And for CP, we have 900 Joule per kilogram and Kelvin. Okay, now we define our uh, temperature. Right click on heat transfer, select temperature, and select this boundary. In this boundary, we have 300 Kelvin temperature. Right click again. Here, we have 304 Kelvin. Now let's move to non thermal flow and active Bucinex approximation. And now click on mesh and use finer mesh. And now select a stationary and copy the model. Okay, it is our velocity distribution inside our pulse medium domain. Now let's move to temperature. It is our temperature and fluid flow. Okay, now we want to check some parameters. So let's move to parameters. And here we define our permeability. And we use, for example, 1 E minus 10. Okay, the unit is square meters. So we use square meters. Okay, now let's go on to voice medium, voice matrix, and here we use K. Or I click on study one, parametric a sweep, use chi, and select range, number of values, we use. One E minus ten. 
on p minus 7. We use four number of value and click on replace and compute the model. Okay, it is our uh, domain for the different variability. Okay, and it is for 1e minus 10. As you can see, when the permeability increases, the velocity inside the domain also increases because the resistance to the fellow decreases. Now, this is our temperature. We can use Rainbow Light Classic. Okay. Now we use a different temperature. For example, uh, we define another temperature in this section. We use 320 kelvins and parametric sweep and compute the model. Okay, it is our velocity distribution. Okay, now let's go and check the temperature. It is our temperature. As you see that because we have a different temperature for the boundary, left, and also the right boundary condition. Now let's go and include another boundary condition, the temperature, and we use here. For example, we use 3. 1, 0 kelvins for this boundary and compute gain. Okay, it is our velocity distribution. With different permeability and now check the uh, temperature. Okay, the temperature and fellow is fellow here, you see that. 